It reminds me of this clip. Let's play this clip right here. This is Tucker Carlson. You, um, in between um, not apologizing for his um, former incel <laughs> racist head writer last night, uh, Tucker Carlson uh, was dropping this little nugget into his um, spew last night. Check this out. This is what happens when science intersects with politics. Both lose, and the country loses most of all. Keeping kids out of school, keeping the elderly inside, forcing everyone to wear a mask when there's no evidence that helps. All what? of these become statements of resistance and moral imperatives. You're seeing it happen in the state of California on a wide scale. Okay, so what he's saying is that when you do, when you just have a mask because you politically want to, like first off, let's rec let's remember that Donald Trump is the president of the United States. He wore a mask. Why did he wear a mask? Because he doesn't. Because he, he because he doesn't want the peer pressure. I mean, he wore a mask because his own government. All the experts say you should wear masks. But where else could we find? Brendan, can you help me? Can we find something for Tucker Carlson maybe to read while he's on his uh, long planned vacation uh, to read about the efficacy of masks? Let's see. A Wearing a mask process. cuts own risk of novel coronavirus by 65%, experts say. A range of new research now suggests that masks also protect the wearer. It takes for granted that it protects other people. And this is published five days ago but what what is this left-wing uh, site that it's on <laughs> oh it's on fox news huh well what, what, maybe somebody what, could send that link to tucker carlson but the opening line this is what happens when science interferes with politics i thought we said that about like religion now yeah. it's like science is a political thing the there is a long standing um right-wing agenda to attack science. Gertrude right. Himmelfarb, Bill Crystal's mom, talked about this decades ago. Uh, it even made it into FUBAR, uh, the book mm. Stephen Sherrill and I wrote 15 years ago. The, uh, the attack on science is part and parcel of making sure that there is no objective truth that exists. Mm-hmm. And even no objective truth that is dynamic, like science is, mm -hmm. that exists. Therefore, it's all bets are off. You got your facts, I got mine, period, end of story. There's no experts. George Bush was a complete exercise in uh, anti-intellectualism yep. and, and the diminishment of, of expertise in these areas. Because you can't trust the science if it's coming from, from CNN or the New York Times. I mean, they, they're biased. And so they're, they're pulling the science that they like. Exactly. Well, the, and, and, the, and, the, and, the, and the larger uh, story is you can't trust science. <laughs> um, 